Hi guys, it is Sunday, um, November 3rd, 2024, 11-3-2024. It's 1.37 p.m. Um, let's get started. At 7.06 p.m., the Lord reminded me that I forgot to put something on the video last night, so I'm assuming that um, he wanted it. It was held for today, is what I'm saying. Okay, that it was held for today. <clears throat> this is what he reminded me. The morning of November 2nd, 2024, I remember saying, render to Caesar what is Caesar's. Okay, there's the verse, render to Caesar's what is Caesar's and to God's what is God's. Um my son reminded me that, um, and he was telling me that the reason he was saying that, which I knew, but, um, is that he showed the image on the coin whose image is on this coin render to Caesar. What is Caesar's? He's got his image on it. And he said, mom, whose image are we made in? And I said, the image of God will render to God. What is God's? We are God's. <clears throat> we are not little gods. We are gods. We are his. We are his. Okay. Let's clarify that before that gets misconstrued. <clears throat> okay. Um, at 327 AM. Today is when the Lord will pick the sheep from the goats. And I got that as in Israel and the world. I know you can't hear it. At 327 AM, I got, today is the day when the Lord will take the sheep from the goats. And I got and understood that that was in Israel and the world. Um, today at 8.41, no, okay, today at 9.41 a.m., my daughter woke and she heard her nickname being called. One of the nicknames we call her since she was born. Okay, she heard Pepe New, Pepe New, and she woke up. 941 941 strongs means I carry bear I carry take away I take up carry I take up she's had a dream where the Lord carried her called her name and then carried her like a child Also, also, it means the father of Ezekiel. The father of Ezekiel. When I was given and reminded of the render to Caesar, what is Caesar's? Um, it was 706 and Strong's, that means a number total. In Hebrew Strong's, it also means fourfold. I've got more words. <clears throat> 327. A.M., the message I got about him taking the sheep from the goats. It means to seek carefully. I seek out, search for, implying the dif difficulty of the task. To properly search up and down, fully inquire.
<clears throat> it also means royal, a foreign origin, royal. I then got the warning today and I'm going to give it to everyone. Revelation. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. <clears throat> Revelation chapter 3, verse 14, the Holy Spirit laid it upon me. And unto the angel of the church of Laodiceans write, These things saith the Amen, the faithful and true. Witness, the beginning of the creation of God. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou work cold or hot. So then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth because thou sayest I am rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing and knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire that thou mayest be rich and white raiment that thou mayest be clothed. And that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. And anoint thine eyes with eye salve. That thou mayest see. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and I will sup with him and he with me. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in, the, in my throne, even as I also overcame and am set down with my father in his throne. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. This morning at 10 o'clock, AM. My son had a dream. And what he told me was our dog Judah. He's our American foxhound, right? Our dog Judah was peeing on a wood floor. He peed twice. And he was bent down cleaning up the pee. He was cleaning it up. And there was three girls laying on the floor trying to sleep. They were sleeping. And one of the girls was halfway uncovered. <clears throat> and as he was cleaning up the pee, he reached over, grabbed the blanket, and covered her all the way. And then cleaned up again. And one of the girls woke up and said something and then went back to sleep. And that's all he remembers. I'm putting that out there because I think it has to be said. Then at 12.41 p.m., <clears throat> I received this. Don't be found without white robes and don't be found wanting. Don't be found wanting. I then got Jeremiah 12, or 10, verse 12. I apologize. Jeremiah 10, verse 12. He hath made the earth by his power. He hath established the world by his wisdom and hath stretched out the heavens by his discretion. I then just inverted it because I wrote Jeremiah 10, 12, but 
but he led me to read something else earlier. So I will find that for you. But then he told me to invert it. And I got Jeremiah 12 verse 10. Many pastors have destroyed my vineyard. They have trodden my portion underfoot. They have made my pleasant portion a desolate wilderness. I just got Jeremiah 10, 21. For the pastors have become brutish and have not sought the Lord. Therefore they shall not prosper and all their flocks shall be scattered. Okay. When I wrote down Jeremiah 10 verse 12, he led my eyes to read Jeremiah 9, 12 to 10. Jeremiah 9 verse 12. Who is the wise man that may understand this? And who is he to come? And who is he to whom the mouth of the Lord hath spoken? That he may declare it. For what the land perisheth and is burned up like a wilderness that none passeth through. And the Lord saith, because they have forsaken my law, which I set before them, and have not obeyed my voice, neither walked therein, but have walked after the Im imagination of their own heart, and after Balaam, which their fathers taught them. Therefore thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, behold, I will feed them, even this people, with warm wood, and give them water of gall to drink. I will scatter them also among the heathen, whom neither they nor their fathers have known, and I will send a sword after them till I have consumed them. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Consider ye, and call for the mourning women, that they may come, and send for cunning women, that they may come, and let them make haste and take up a welling for us, that our eyes may run down with tears, and our eyelids gush out with waters. For a voice of welling is heard out of Zion. How are we spoiled? We are greatly confounded because we have forsaken the land, because our dwellings has cast us out. Yet hear the word of the Lord. O ye women, and let your ear receive the word of his mouth, and teach your daughters welling, and every one her neighbor lamentation. For death is come up into our windows and is entered into our palaces to cut off the children from without and the young men from the streets. Speak thus, saith the Lord, even the carcass of men shall fall as dung upon the open field and as the hand full after the harvest man. And none shall gather them. Thus saith the Lord. Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches. But let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am the Lord which exercise loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, saith the Lord. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will punish all them which are circumcised with the uncircumcised. Egypt and Judah and Edom and the children of Ammon and Moab and all that are in the utmost corners that dwell in the wilderness. For all these nations are uncircumcised and all the house of Israel are uncircumcised in the heart.